Hey, design and modeling students. How goes it? I'm going to show you how to assemble the parts. So these little guys right here, your car body, your axle, and your wheel in using Autodesk. So, very important. You need to have these on your desktop. You need to be able to see them. They need to be on your desktop. Got it? Okay, good. Autodesk. Boom. You're creating an assembly. So click on assembly, and then you're going to say place. So some, mine says place from content center. I don't want to do that. I want to say place, and then it's saying, what do you want to place? Well, I'm glad you asked, Autodesk. So desktop, and I'm going to place two axles. So one and two. So left click, left click, right click, OK. There are my two axles. Now I'm going to place a car body. So select car body, open, uh, zoom out a little bit so you don't put it right on top of your axles. Left click, right click, OK. How many wheels do I need? Did you say four? You're correct. A normal car has four wheels. One, two, three, four. My wheels are kind of tiny. Right click, OK. This is how you assemble it. So I've got all the parts I need. Now we're going to assemble. You ready? Constrain. I'm going to click on the face of that wheel and then the face of the car body. Say apply. If we look at it real quick, the wheel moves along that face. If I look at it from the front, the wheel is stuck to that plane right there. So I don't want the car body to move, so I'm going to right click on car body. I'm going to say grounded. Okay, now I'm going to go back to constraining that wheel because I want it on that hole right there. So I'm going to say constrain. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I'm going to get that center line and I'm going to do it on the center point. Apply. So face, face, apply, center line, center point, apply, spin it around, face, face, apply, center line, center point, apply, face to face, apply, center line, center point, apply. Looks pretty good. Now I got to get the axles in there. I'm going to say constrain and I'm going to do center line to center line and then I'm going to change this right here to flush. So flush, and you're going to flush the end of your axle with the side of your tire. Now if I put in the correct measurements, the axle should not be sticking out either side. If we move this, you can see that I did a good job with my measurements. Because my axle goes from one side of the car to the other side of the car without sticking out. So let's constrain this last one. Center line to center line, apply, change this to flush, flush, to flush, apply, and my assembly is complete. So I need to save it. File, save as, car assembly, right on the desktop, hit save,